got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. The largest turtle is a leatherback sea turtle. It can weigh around 2,000 pounds. Turtle lay eggs. Many turtle species are in danger. So protect our turtles and do not kill them. Do you see this turtle? I love turtles.
Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hi boys and girls, for our craft today we will be making a turtle and I have with me my daughter's turtle, its name is Peanut. But before I tell you a little bit about Peanut, let's begin our craft. This is what you need. You will need two sheets of Bristol board paper of different color, glue, a marker, color of your choice, could be black, red, whatever you choose. Pencil, scissors, a plate, size of your choice. And you can also use felt if you have at home. It, you don't have to use it, but I will be using felt today and you will see how. So, get your stuff together and let's start. So I've drew on this piece of bristle board a circle, the size of this plate, and I also drew these four rectangles. I drew this for the face and this is for the tail. You can draw the eyes on the bristle board paper for yourself or you can draw it and cut it out. I drew and cut it out. So I'm going to leave it here. You can pause the video right now, take a good look at it, see what you have to do. And when you're finished, you can start cutting and we'll start our craft. Okay, so I believe you guys have already cut out your pattern. So I hope you got four in these. This is for the tail. And this will be the face. So we just want to put that at the side until we're ready for them. And you're going to take your circle and you're going to fold it in half like this. Press down. Make sure that it's even. When you open it, you're going to cut down in the middle. Right, so now you'll get your two halves. You just put this other side. You're gonna take up your four shape here, rectangle shape. You're gonna hold them together. And you'll take your scissors and you're just gonna round off this. Like 
like this. Now you're going to take your piece of your half of circle. You're going to take these and you're going to stick them on the half of circle like this together. If it is too broad, you can always cut down the edge like this. Let me show you. You can always take off a piece here. Because mine is a bit too broad. But you will have space to line up like this. And so I will just cut all the same size now. And when you're finished cutting, and it can line up here, you're just leaving a little space here. And a little on this side so if you know if you find it is too broad you can take down piece so let's start right so I cut mine down a little smaller so now you're gonna take your glue okay. and you're gonna put from here If you want, you can rest put them all together just to measure them how much and where you're putting your glue and where you can stop. take your glue and you're just going to put a little bit here and you're going to stick it down like this if you want your turtle head up if you want your turtle head down it's up to you so might as well just be a little bit up and then you take the glue again i'm going to put a little bit on the tail <laughs> And you are going to stick it here like that you will now take the other half of the scissor and you're going to put glue all around it your eyes already drawn and cut out you can take your pencil now and you can start to draw your eye on this side let me just show you And now you can either color your turtle. I use felt and cut them out in little circles, different colors, and I'm gonna stick them on. You can do the same if you have felt at home or if you have different colored paper at home, you can cut them in little circles and you can stick them or you can color them right about now. And so, 
I know you guys are really creative, so I could just imagine how colorful and pretty you guys to the shells are looking. So this is how mines are, but it's not finished. So we are now going to draw them out. And here's where I say you can choose any different color marker that you have. And you're just going to bring it up from here like that. I'm just going to put a little smile. And if you want, you can come on this side of so you know. And you do the same coming up here. And, oh, but my turtle's not standing up. That's easy. You're going to take this first foot and you're just going to squeeze it in like this on this side. You're going to take the other and you're going to squeeze it on this side. You're going to bring this up here and you're going to carry this one on the back. And then, you're going to it to stand. There you have it. You're true. And like I said, you can use what well, I used. Um, cardboard this is a cereal box and I covered it with felt paper so you can use that as well and so we have our turtles here how did you guys do boys and girls great job so I told you about peanut right so let me go and get him hold on boys and girls so boys and girls this is peanut yes He's a red air slider. Can you see peanut? Peanut. <laughs> there you go. The boys and girls want to see you. So let me tell you a little bit of the red air slider. They are semi-aquatic. They can live on land and in water. They can also hold their breath for a long period of time. They also need to bask in the sun. Peanuts him here <laughs> he loves to stretch and dry off they actually get vitamins from the Sun God is great and their shell it's made up of scoots which makes their unique pattern can you see and over time they grow bigger over time when they grow bigger their scoots starts to shed Peanut gets excited when it's feeding time. Not so, Peanut? <laughs> yes. Other than that, he goes in a corner until no one is around and then he comes out. So, although there are some friendly turtles, some are shy and mostly like to be left alone. Peanut is like that. So I will be putting peanut back right about now. So boys and girls, just like our craft today was a turtle, I just thought I would have introduced to you peanut. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this craft. And remember that God don't only love you, boys and girls, he loves animals too. After all, God made them all. So, look at me putting Peanut back. Let me just give you guys this. Come, Peanut. You're going back. And there he is. Have a blessed day, boys and girls. Bye. Now, when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, why do ye look one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you dung thither and buy for us from thence, that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent not with his brethren. For he said, Least pre-adventure mischief befall him. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came. For the farming was in the land of Canaan. 
and Joseph was the governor over the land. And he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew him not. And Joseph remembered the dream which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies, to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are thy servants come. We are all one man's son. We are true men. Thy servants are no spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said, Thy servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is this day with our father, and one is not. And Joseph said unto them, that is it that I speak unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be proved. By the life of Pharaoh ye shall not go forth hence, except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison. And ye shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved, whether there be any truth in you, or else by the life of Pharaoh surely ye are spies. And he put them all together into ward three days. And Joseph said unto them the third day, This do and live. For I fear God. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye carry corn for the farming of your houses. But bring your youngest brother unto me. So shall your words be verified. And ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said one to another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, in that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child? And ye would not hear? Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. And they knew not that Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter. And he turned himself about from them and wept. And returned to them again, and communed with them, and took from them Simeon, and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn, and to restore every man's money into his sack, and to give them provision for the way. And thus did he unto them. And they laded their asses, with the corn and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender in the inn, he emptied his money, for behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored. 
and lo, it is even in my sack, and their heart failed them, and they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that God had done unto us? And they came unto Jacob their father in the land of Canaan, and told him all that befell unto them, saying, the man who is the Lord of the land spake roughly to us and took us for spies of the country. And we said unto him, We are true men. We are no spies. We are twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not, and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, the Lord of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your brethren here with me, and take food for the farming of your households, and be gone, and bring your youngest brother unto me. Then shall I know that ye are no spies, but that ye are true men. So will I deliver you your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land." And it came to pass, as they emptied their sacks, that, behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. And when both they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. And Jacob their father said unto them, Me have ye bereaved of my children. Joseph is not, and Simeon is not. And ye will take Benjamin away? All these things are against me. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons. If I bring him not to thee, deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. And he said, My son, shall not go down with you for his brother is dead and he is left alone if mischief befall him by the way in the which ye go then shall ye bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul.